Howdy folks, today we are looking at the LiPi LP2020 Ti. This is the amplifier that uh, Parts Express says is the official successor to the uh, good old 2020A+. Uh, you should check out the uh, video here that they've got uh, making those claims. It's uh, quite entertaining, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, they claim it has... Uh, better better uh, amplification distortion characteristics uh, personally i don't feel like it sounds as good as the 2020a plus in the subjective matter so let's uh, take some measurements and see how it actually comes out but uh, before we do that i'm just gonna pull this thing open so we can do a little bit of comparison with the with the a plus and you'll see that it's uh, quite a bit different uh, piece of kit <laughs> All right, so yeah, there's uh, really not a lot of similarities here. Uh, yeah, the main chip here, this is a yeah, TPA311 from TI, which is a very different thing from the TriPass chip. Uh, got a bunch of Solastic stringing around in here. Yeah, we've still got our four big caps. But other than that, there's really not a lot similar on the board. Uh, one thing I'm going to have to uh, test here, if you look at the outputs, once again, we've got a uh, reversed set of uh, outputs with uh, right being on the bottom. Uh, if you look at the jack setup the jacks are the same but i don't know because the board layout is so different i don't know if they've switched the traces here to have the output actually be correct in that orientation or if this one is backwards as well i'll test that out and uh, we'll we'll get the answer there but yeah i think that's enough uh just looking at things subjectively let's uh try and run some numbers So the first thing we're going to test here is just is left left and is right right. So we're just going to put some output on the right. And we'll use channel one. Run that out. Okay, and that is coming out of the right hand side. It's the left hand side. All right, so it does appear that they have reworked the uh, board layout so that the uh, terminals actually are reversed compared to the uh, older style as opposed to just being wrong on the back. All right, put on my uh, earmuffs here and let's uh, take down some numbers. Okay, so <clears throat> if we compare this with the 2020A+, let's look at 12 volts, 40 hertz, so 
let's see, let's see, we got 51 out of the 2020, and we got 73 out of this guy. That's actually notably better. And, oh wait, no, that's detection. 1% distortion, uh, 69.8 versus 73, still notably better. Uh, 112, same on the same on the top end. Bumping up to 13 volts. Let's see, we got 70, still a little over 73 here. Similar top end, that's going to be a rounding error. 14 volts, we're up to 72 here, but we're up to almost 76 here. And same, 112, 113, pretty close to rounding error. So yeah, on the uh, raw stats, it actually looks like this thing does uh, outperform on the uh, raw distortion. But uh, like I said, I don't feel like listening to the uh, listening to the audio on it. You know, listening to music, it uh, doesn't have quite the same presence. But this is uh, the numbers here aren't exactly what I expected. So I'll, I may do a, uh, another video doing a, a musicality test. It's uh, really difficult to uh, to compare musicality on YouTube because everybody's listening on their you know crappy phone speakers so you can't really get a uh, solid comparison but I'll see if I can figure something out to uh, do something in that realm but as far as the data collection goes I think that's enough for today and uh, I appreciate you watching as always and we will see you next time